Welcome to Tantrum House Studio D. I'm Kevin Delp. And I'm Melissa Delp. Today we're looking at 40 Thieves. Thieves is a two to four player game. It uses memory, card placement, and a little bit of push your luck. Now this is being published by Jack Bro, and it's going to be on Kickstarter this March. The 40 thieves have hidden a treasure beyond measure, and in the middle of this treasure are nine sapphires. Whoever can steal the most sapphires will win. The prototype components include circular cards in five suits with four different colors and some special cards. Sapphires, and evil eye tokens, which will be more thematic than these cubes. At the beginning of the game, you deal 16 cards face down in a 4x4 four four grid and place the 9 sapphires so each is surrounded by 4 cards. There are 4 phases to each player's turn. There's the draw phase, then the glimpse, the action, and finally the steal. You start your turn by drawing up to 3 cards in your hand, and then you can glimpse under any one jar. Only you get to see what it is. The back of the cards show a symbol and color. The front side will either be a thief matching the color, a thief matching the symbol, or will be a special card. Things happen if you glimpse at certain special cards, but we'll get to that later. After glimpsing, you can take one action. Your options are swap a card with one from your hand, switch two adjacent cards, or play a special card from your hand. You then have the opportunity to try and steal a sapphire. If you choose to steal, you reveal either four cards in a row or the four cards surrounding a sapphire. You're going to look at either the colors or the icons. The robbery is successful if any of these four things is true. All the cards have the same color thieves or all different color thieves. Or if all the cards have the same thief icon or all different thief icons. If you're correct, then you get a sapphire. If you're wrong, you have to take an evil eye token, which is basically a negative point at the end of the game. There are five different types of special cards, and they act differently if you glimpse them or if you play them from your hand. If you glimpse a sapphire card, you take it, and it counts as an extra sapphire at the end of the game. If you play a sapphire as an action, you can steal a sapphire from an opponent. Glimpsing a dagger is bad. You reveal it and then discard your hand of cards. But if you have a dagger in your hand, you can play it to cancel another player's special card. If you glimpse a lantern, then you have to reveal it and three adjacent cards. This gives everyone a lot of info, but playing it from your hand lets you glimpse at two adjacent cards during the glimpse phase. Nothing happens if you glimpse an evil eye, but if you play it from your hand, then you get to give an evil eye token to an opponent. The final card is the jar. Nothing happens if you glimpse a jar but it's great knowledge to have because jars function as wilds. They can be any color or icon during the steal phase. If you play a jar from your hand, you can get rid of one of your evil eyes. We've played 40 Thieves at two, three, and four players, and with the two-player game, you can really set up your steals a little bit better, and four players, a lot is changing in that board before it gets back to your turn. I agree. I, I enjoyed it, all the different player counts, but I think I like it the best at the two players. Yeah, it really is a little bit more back and forth and strategic. Now this game does have the push your luck element because it's kind of risky even when you glimpse because you might hit that dagger, which is really bad. And when you decide whether or not to steal, especially if you don't know exactly what all those cards are, you might be able to see that there are different icons in the row, but there's no guarantee that it's actually the icons on the other side. It could be the colors or it could be one of those special cards. And if you reveal any special cards except for the jar, which is the wild, then you fail and Obviously, you get that evil eye. But you can get really lucky sometimes with very little information. Now, we didn't mention this earlier, but if you are successful in a row and, and you successfully steal a sapphire, then those four cards in a row get discarded from the game um, and then put and then put jars back up to refill. But if you are successful in a square around a sapphire, then those cards stay face up. And that can help your opponents see what's available. Right, because you know exactly what's there and you can really play off of it. 
You can even try and steal more than one sapphire during the steal phase. If you reveal cards that give you a sapphire and they reveal other correct combinations, then you can get those sapphires too. I like the different special cards that help you throughout the game, like uh, revealing and glimpsing two adjacent jars by playing the lantern. Um, and that helps you as you're trying to steal those sapphires. Yeah, the special cards definitely add some player interaction into the game because you can potentially steal sapphires or give people evil eye tokens. Now, if you do have a dagger in your hand, you can protect yourself, or you may choose to put that dagger into the grid and hope that your opponent glimpses the dagger and then has to get rid of all their cards. I remember you doing that to me. And it was awesome. Now these are prototypes, but the icons are clear and easy to distinguish. The circular cards are fun, but they are a little difficult to shuffle. It will be interesting to see what the final product is made from. Because of the hidden information, the material will need to be something that doesn't bend or mark easily. 40 Thieves is really easy to pick up and play. The hardest thing for new players, though, is remembering what those special cards do and which ones trigger in the glimpse phase. So I really hope that they add some player aid cards to the game. I agree. Because when someone's looking at their hand or they glimpse and then they reach over for the rule book, you kind of know they probably saw a special card. <laughs> yeah, so if you uh, enjoy games with a little memory to them or and you're okay with a little push your luck, then check out 40 Thieves on Kickstarter soon. There's a draw phase, then the glimpse, then the action, and draw, glimpse, action, steal. <laughs>